Andrew Whitehead, please stay with us. We do want to discuss some of the details of uh, Rishi Sunak's visit here uh, to India as well. And of course, uh, it began. Uh, with a declaration that the FTA was not likely to happen uh, in this meeting. There were also concerns about the Khalistani movement uh, in the UK that were brought up, I believe, in this meeting. There was a statement just ahead of the visit by Rishi Sunak, which was pretty damning about Russia's war in Ukraine. Uh, but now uh, what has happened is in the last uh, hour or so is that the British Prime Minister has conveyed to the Chinese Premier Li Qiang, uh, you know, on the sidelines of the G20, uh, that uh, about interference in the UK's parliamentary democracy this after a spy a so-called spy was arrested of you know in uh, in the UK for spying for China the male suspect who is said to be in his late 20s is thought to be linked to members with classified information reports suggest several of the MPs with links to the man are privy to classified and highly sensitive information the suspect another man in his 30s was also arrested related to allegations of the official secrets act and espionage related offenses uh, the researcher was has worked with the MPs on international policy and held parliamentary passes for several years so that is uh, the development, of course, coming in from Rishi Sunak, uh, in a sense, bringing that up with the Chinese Premier Li Qiang on the sidelines of the G20. Uh, Andrew Whitehead, how, what do you make of the overall uh, visit of, uh, of the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to, to India for the G20? I think for him personally, it's been really important. He's come with his wife, Akshita Murthy, who is uh, Indian born and an Indian national. Uh, they went to the Askadam temple. That was obviously something that was very important to them. I know they planned to go to a couple of their favorite restaurants out around Delhi, but weren't able to because of the lockdown and, and so much being being closed because of the, the G20 summit. I think for him, it's gone fairly well. The mood music that we got after the bilateral meeting between Rishi Sunak and Narendra Modi is that there is progress on the trade deal. And I think now, uh, the word from uh, British officials is that perhaps there will be a, an agreement before the end of the year and certainly before both India and Britain face general elections uh, in, in, you know, in the next uh, year or in Britain's case, perhaps just a little bit uh, more than a year away. I think uh, Rishi Sunak will be disappointed that this spy story has uh, come out. It seems to have been a leak to the Times newspaper while he is... Um, in Delhi, because it probably made for a rather uncomfortable meeting with the Chinese Premier. But as you say, the, the suggestion is that there have been two arrests, and one of these, we don't have the full details, appears to be of somebody who has been working as a parliamentary researcher. And while we don't have the details, what we're, uh, uh, what the Times is reporting is that the allegation is that this person is uh, may have been spying for China. And obviously, that's really quite serious if China is trying to place spies basically within the British parliamentary system and something that really Rishi Sunak had got to raise in his bilateral with the Chinese prime minister. Thank you.